Hey, good morning guys. Welcome to my channel. I was just out driving around looking at the crappy spots like I was doing the other day. Found one lone gentleman fishing off a bridge that I normally fish off of. Tells me he's got seven in the last 20 minutes. Which tells me the crappy are in. I'm over here at Canadian Tire right now. I'm going to get my fishing license because I don't even have that yet. Go home, grab my rod, hit the creek, see if we can put some in the pail. Alright guys, we're done at Canadian Tire. I just picked up my license. Highway robbery. $32 for a fishing license. I, and I've ripped on this before, but I don't have a problem paying the money if the conservation efforts are coming back into our community. But there's nothing going on down here that I know of. If you know something going on in southwestern Ontario with the fisheries and where our money for our license is going, let me know because I don't have a clue. Minor change of plans. While en route home to get my fishing pole, I got a text message telling me I had to come to the studio and do some work. There's some important stuff to go on here, and that's that's fishing. And some people just don't understand that. Anyway, I'll go take care of this. Should only be a couple hours, then we'll head down to the water. All right, guys, all done at the studio. You got to do what you got to do. So I helped out there for a couple hours. I thought no big deal, sprinkling rain, I'll go do that. I go to leave there and it's now pouring rain. Maybe back to a sprinkle again. Anyway, nothing serious. I'm not going to keep any today. I'm just going to go out and hit a few spots and see if they're biting. And uh, I'm going to use a quarter ounce jig head, chartreuse jig head with a white twister tail, single tail. And uh, we'll see what happens. But when I get there, I'm going to switch over to my small camera because it's raining and I really do not want to lose this one here. See you there. Okay guys, didn't give the fishing a whole lot of effort. It was cold, it was raining, I was just trying to see if there's anything around and a few bites, but nothing. So, as things go, yet another change of plans. All right, so the weather is miserable. I didn't show you any of the, the fishing. It wasn't really fishing. I went and picked up my license at uh, Phil's. Just went to a couple of spots that I normally fish, got some bites, didn't really catch anything. So I didn't bother videotaping anything, but it was raining and it was cold. So I thought I'd move inside to the studio since it's closed and finish out my review. Now most of you know by now that I'm not a, a matching kind of guy. I don't have to have, um, you know, Zebco, Rod, Reel, this, that, brand name this, brand name that. And I'm by no means a fan of Abu Garcia, the company. That's in the past, rant in a video. But I am a fan of their product, okay? I, I'm going to admit it. Um, I've used their Black Max bait casting reel for, I'm going to say, four or five years now. And my first bait casting reel that I tried was a uh, Quantum. And I spent more time playing with it and getting the bird, trying to get the bird's nest out of it than I did actually fishing it. It frustrated me to a point where I just never used it again. I watched all the YouTube videos on how to use it. I still had problems. I picked up this Black Max combo at Myers, which is in all over Michigan. I'm not sure how far south that store goes, but anyway, I picked this up there. I think I paid $60 for this combo. This combo is five years old. And I'll bet I haven't had three or four bird's nests in this whole thing. So it's really easy to use. And I've just stuck with it. And this is on their medium heavy rod as well. So I happened to be at the Novi Fishing Show. I think it was a few months back, obviously, in Novi, Michigan. And I come across the Shimano booth. I've never owned a Shimano product in my life. But me looking for a bargain... I happened to find this Shimano 6.6 medium heavy and they had a show special for 12 bucks. Even if it lasts me a year, I still made my money. I needed a reel to put on this. So I happened to be back at uh, in Frankenmuth, Michigan, as you saw in one of the other videos. On the way home, ran into another Meyer store. They had the Abu Garcia Black Max reels on sale 
for $35. Since I've had such good luck with the other one, I thought I'd pick another one up and put it on this Shimano rod. And because this is a lot stiffer than the other one, I'm not quite sure why. It's a lot thicker down the base, but it's got a nice fast action tip. I'm going to use it as a frog rod. And uh, I'll put 40 pound test braid on here. And away we go. So for a total of $47, I've got another bait casting combo. I thought that was a pretty good deal. So just to uh, touch on my issues with Abu Garcia, I bought a spinning setup last year for crappy fishing, which I showed you in another video, and cap nut on the other side of the handle kept coming loose. Um, after numerous emails back and forth, it was a $100 rod and reel, but there was prob no less than probably 30 emails gone back and forth between myself and Abu Garcia just to try and get a nut. That it got to a point where I just said, forget it. I wrote a bad review about the rod and reel, but I did complain about the customer service. So, this is by no means an endorsement by or for Abu Garcia. It works for me. It's cheap, so I use it. One last thing I want to show you about the reel. If you're new with a bait casting reel, don't get frustrated. It's, it's not that hard, but you got to practice. I always put the start off with the brakes on full. Don't cast into the wind, cast with the wind if you can. Thumb the wheels. Start casting light and then increase your distance as you get more comfortable with it. Uh, this is very, very smooth. As you see, I don't feel any grinding in here as whatsoever. My other one's starting to grind, but it's, it's going on five years old with zero maintenance. So that's another tip for you. Put the brakes on full. That way you have less likely to have a backlash. So the last thing I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna take this reel Put it on the Shimano rod. There's my $47 setup. Didn't think that was too bad of a deal. All right, guys, the last tip I want to show you, we, we've all stripped lines off our rods. It's all you sit there and you pull and you pull and you pull. The easiest way i found to do this, to save a little bit of time, is your drill, an old drill bit, piece of tape. All right, guys, we're gonna put the old drill bit in. I've got the spool set on free spool, right, so it'll just come out. I'm going to tape the line to the drill bit. Let's see what happens. It's actually working. Keep your thumb on the spool so that it doesn't tangle up on you. Alright, just so you all know, I don't just take this and throw it in the garbage. Take the drill bit out, there's your wad of string. I'll then take the tape, then tape it all up so that it doesn't end up all over the place. When I get back home, I'll dispose of it properly. Always dispose of your line properly. The reason for that is, is too many birds, too many animals get tangled up in our line and a lot of us are using braid nowadays and that's pretty much all I use unless I'm crappy fishing is braid they're not going to get out so always always dispose of your line properly I have just blown past 835 awesome subscribers thank you all very much my goal when you see this video my goal was to get 1000 subscribers by the end of March or by Easter this is now Good Friday that I'm recording this video on, which will probably be posted later tonight or tomorrow night, which is Saturday or depending on when you're watching it. So my goal was to get 1,000 subscribers by the end of March or by Easter. Now in the spirit of positivity, if I don't reach that goal by the end of that time, am I gonna be upset? Absolutely not, I'm having a great time. Making videos, editing videos, putting them out, having everybody come and join the videos. So subscribe to my channel and enjoy my videos. It's great. I'm getting a lot of positive comments, a lot of positive feedback, and I appreciate that very much. I support a lot of people as well. 
So thank you all very much. It's very much appreciated. So ladies and gentlemen, that is going to conclude today's video. Hope you enjoyed that tip with the line removal. A little bit of a review about the Abel Garcia Black Max Baitcaster. A little bit of a rant. It's all good. Keep smiling. Happy Easter. And thank you all very much. Hit that subscribe button before you go. And I'll see you all in the next one. Later.